I call, I call my lawyer. I call my lawyer. I call my agent. What's happening? Why didn't I get the part? This is called 10 first. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, you ready? First drink you order. I've been really getting into cocktails in lockdown. So now I've got a repertoire. I've been making penicillins. I made one on the Jimmy Fallon show. So what's in it? What's in a penicillin? Fresh lemon juice, fresh ginger juice, uh, a blended um, scotch. First thing you look at, look at on your phone in the morning? Always text messages, because particularly from Australia, so sometimes you get a message from mum or dad or sister or somebody, so, and then I usually do, I've been hitting, you know, I'll go straight to the New York Times. First person you call? We talking about the morning store? I call, I call my lawyer. No, for... I call my lawyer, I call my agent. What's happening? Why didn't I get the part? Who do you call like as a go-to, like your first instinct? Oh, you know? Bobby, call Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you, you can't call him now because he's in the house with you all the time. He's, he's always here. <laughs> We're always together. First joke you remember, or a go-to joke. It is such a dirty joke. And really? It's, yeah, it's so dirty. That only exists when we see each other on a Tuesday? Yeah, exactly. It's just so dirty. First and last fashion splurge. I remember buying like this very early 2000s square Miu Miu purse with like a maroon strap with studs on it. I remember that and like taking it to auditions and you know, you know like... Did you take it off? 19. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I just did my audition with that one. First time you owned your shit? Having children, starting a family is a huge thing of owning your own shit, for sure. First year of my first son's life, for sure. First date? Ooh, well, in Australia you don't really date. You just sort of get drunk and hook up and then you figure out if you're gonna see each other again. That's the honest, that's the God's honest truth. First thing you turn on TV. You know what I love? I love being back in Australia and watching like the Australian channels. I just find it the most comforting thing in the world is like to put on channel, on the ABC or SBS or anything, channel 10, 7, and just watch whatever's on. There's always an Aussie host at a wildlife park. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there's always somebody, or there's always a koala in the studio. It's true. First thing you do or eat if you're stressed out? Oh, junk food. Just terrible junk food, yeah. Chocolate, biscuits. <laughs> First car you bought? A, a yellow Corolla for $1,000 that was on sale in the rocks that I walked past with my dad. And I was like, I think that's the first car I'm gonna get. And I bought it. And now you have a Maserati. Now I have a Tesla and a Maserati. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have either of those things. <laughs> First thing you'll do when this godforsaken pandemic is over? Oh, have a party. Have a party with just everybody. Right? Everyone on the street. Finally, have a party. Just would not have to be apart from one another. Yeah, we're going to be throwing parties, which we don't like to do. Like, I go to a party, maybe, but throwing them, no. In full sequence by the time this <laughs> I know, me too. But look, you know what, Rose Byrne? I admire you for your character, the way you approach your work, the mum you are, the perspective you have, the humour you have, and that you try to be good, work hard, and wear things lightly. Um, just like that t-shirt! Thank you so much for watching 10 First. I hope you liked it. If you did, click the subscribe button, this is me clicking, uh, below, or like, or anything to validate me personally, and uh, stick around for next week when we'll get more Juicy.